What are you doing? Well, how do you how do you cut fat off of this thing? It's like I should be using it to cut someone's give, head off. Give it to a man. Howdy everyone. It's 2023 Easter weekend and we're out camping for a few days and I've brought the portable smoker up. It's not me. <laughs> He's the eye candy. Uh, we're fighting right now. Uh, portable smoker up and I'm going to do a pork shoulder that's boneless. So what's, what's with the muscle? Uh, now this is a binding agent. You can use olive oil, you can use Worcestershire sauce, um, but what I want to do is um, obviously seal it with a little bit of flavour and the binding agent will be there too when you put that on, it's going to stick. Now that's all we need, we'll put this back in the fridge, let it sweat, take in all that flavour. Now what I've put in there is, uh, it's my own mix, salt, pepper, garlic, and paprika, super simple. Uh, so I'm setting up, it's called a snake. There's different formations you can use for your hot feeds. Um, but the idea for a snake is you start at one end where all the heat is and then it'll slowly take and slowly take all the way around um, to extend your burn, or extend your, your, your cooking time. When you do smoke, you, you, you've got to trial it. You've got to work out uh, a few things, how many heat beads you need to put in to get um, the right temperature and for how long of a cook you want for whatever particular meat. Uh, that um, pork is two kilos, so I'm thinking it's gonna be six hours, low and slow, and another thing is, don't overreact to your smoker. If your temp's starting to go down, don't overreact and start trying to put a heap, heap more fuel in, because then that'll flare up. Just trust in your method of hot beads, so when it does die down, it's gonna flare up with the next line of heat beads that you've already put in, so don't overreact. And you'll see on, on clips, oh, I've put it over, 246 degrees Fahrenheit. For me, I just have a range of about 210 to 250. If I can keep it in around there for six hours, I know I'm gonna get a good piece of meat. If it's a big piece of meat and I'm, I'm at the bottom of 200 to 210, don't overreact. You might just need to keep it on for an extra 30 minutes or so. But you won't know until you have a good look at your meat after that time period that you nominate with whatever heat range that you can keep. Right, so it's, it's brought up to temp. I'm using um, apple tree. And this is an important one for me. I only put it in the first third of the cook. The reason for that is the meat is not seared. So while it's not seared, it can um, soak all that smoke flavor. There's no point putting uh, smoke at the end of the cook when it's all seared and, and sealed. The coals are a light on this side. So I want to put the vent on the opposite side of where the, the beads have taken. The reason for that is the smoke will come up and go over the meat and out the vent. There's no point having that vent on this side because it's not going to really have any exposure to the meat. So you want that smoke because it's going to take in a second. You can see it's starting to come out now and that's that apple tree, up and over the meat, and that smoke really starts soaking into that meat while it's raw. All right, so we're two hours in. I've done myself a mischief. I didn't bring a spritzer spray bottle, and that's what I'd use to spray the meat now, and I usually do it with water, with a dash of Worcestershire sauce or balsamic vinegar. I'm gonna just quickly base it, so I just wanna put a little bit of moisture into the top of it. Let's have a look, and it's, what's at that? It's 220, that's perfect, that's perfect temperature, and you don't need to overreact to temperature, as long as it's in a good range. Now that's two hours. It's still firm, it's still got a little while to go, so let's just put a little bit of water into it, and then you do this with a, with a spritz bottle, and I think a good reason why you would use a spritz bottle is you're not 
rubbing off any of that season that you've caked in on there. That's four hours. That is four hours. Let's have a quick gaze. You can see it's starting to reduce. Um, it's starting to take some shape. It's got some really good color. I just want to add three ingredients into some olive oil. Bit of butter. Now let's go again. I want to put some brown sugar. Some honey. You can and you can smell this meat. It's, it smells mint. Let's put one there. Let's put one there. Let's get this back into the smoker again. Let's go for another hour and a half. Here we go. So I want to do a glaze now. So it's sort of been pressure cooked in the alfoil or steamed in those juices with all that butter and all that sugar and honey, which is just soaking into the meat. And we've done that for that hour and a half because it's, it's now cooked. And I just want to put it back in there just for 20 minutes, just to glaze this barbecue sauce over it and, and then we'll take it out. So let's just chuck it on for 20 minutes and we'll show you the, um, the full product. So you won't cover that? That'll be no, I won't cover it, so it's uncovered. Now, do you want me to get the mattress out? Because I know you eat it and then you go and you fall over. Well, I've seen it. I've seen it. You do it behind my back. You do it every time. <laughs> and <laughs> just eat it, but be critical. Yeah, be Mr. Critical, here we go. We can't now because you've built me up. Yeah. Really nice. Actually, it's pretty good. No, I, I don't know how you're going to rag that. I've nice. done that a stack of times at home. Very moist, very tender. Pulls apart. It's good. I like it. Actually, I really like now, it. Now, I'm, I'm going to turn my back. Go. Okay. I'm going to let this rest. We've got a potato bake in the camp oven. Oh, you're still alive. I like it. Oh, here we go. I like mm. it. There you have it. The meat's rested for about 10 minutes. You have smoked pork shoulder, boneless. Two kilo, went for about five and a half hours, I reckon. We've also done a potato bake in the camp oven with a bit of Turkish bread. Ooh, Turkish. There you go, my big boy. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Enjoy. Um, what is it? It's Easter. <laughs> watch, that, watch that insect that just went in. It's Easter 2023. We've got a couple of clips this weekend. Yep. This is one of them. Uh, I know Goldie's doing a cracker lamb stew. Lamb stew, yeah. So please subscribe. Please like. It does something to the search engine of YouTube. Um, but hey, this is what we do. We just cook, eat, and drink. <laughs> Enjoy. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Hey, Ruth.